Hey you guys and welcome to a new grocery budget challenge video. If you guys have seen in the past, I've done grocery budget challenges from Walmart, but today I'm going to do it with the dollar store actually. So I'm going to be spending $5 and we're going to see how many products we can get for $5 at the dollar store. And we're going to see how high of quality they are and how delicious they are. And we're going to try to put it all together and make a big huge dinner out of it. And hopefully that dinner is good. But anyways, I actually first saw a video like this over on TikTok. I saw a man doing it and then I saw somebody else doing it over on TikTok. So I thought I would give it a shot and show you guys and you know we're gonna see how it turns out but anyways if you are new here I'd love to have you over at my channel so go ahead and subscribe down below the video but let's go and head to the dollar store Now that we have finally made it to the dollar store, I do want to point out a few things to you. So I don't know if you guys ever thought this, but I used to think, you know, the dollar store, every price is good there. It's only a dollar. So that means it has to be other grocery stores prices, but that is just completely wrong. So there is a lot of things that I just simply don't buy at the dollar store just because it's a lot more money than at your average grocery store, like Walmart, Smith's, Kroger. So like, for example, condiments, I never buy condiments. I don't buy like ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, any of that. And then also some beans. I never buy canned beans, canned vegetables, or anything of that nature. There's actually quite a few things I just simply don't buy at the dollar store just because it is quite a bit more money than at your average grocery store. So make sure you, you know, memorize your grocery prices. Okay, so you guys just saw me go to the dollar store and pick some things out and now I'm going to show you guys everything I got. I'm not even going to lie, I'm a little bit disappointed my dollar store didn't even have chicken breasts or like anything of that nature. It was pretty like slim pickings. I'm just going to show you guys what I got and hopefully we could create a yummy meal out of it. So I just got some elbow macaroni. This is 24 ounces of that. This is quite a bit of pasta. Honestly, I don't even think I'm going to use this much pasta. It is a lot of pasta. And then back here is just some Hunt's um, pasta sauce. This is one pound of pasta sauce. I just got the traditional. They had a whole bunch of different flavors there, but you know, just stick them to what I know, which is traditional. And then over here is some Polish sausage. This is for our meats. I was wanting to get chicken and do a totally different meal, but they only had Polish sausage, so I just got some Polish sausage. And then over here is some cheddar cheese. This is gonna be great topping on top of this meal I'm thinking of. And then down here for our veggies, just some peas and carrots. Of course, this is not gonna be the most nutritious meal ever, but this is all my dollar store had, so let's see what we create right now. It is now time we are gonna make our $5 Dollar Tree dinner. So I have this big bag of some elbow noodles. I think I'm gonna start boiling this up in some water. Like I said before, I'm not gonna use this entire bag just because it is just so much pasta noodles and then our sauce isn't very much sauce. So I'm gonna start cooking that up and then I'm going to chop up our sausage. So now that our pasta noodles are boiling up, I'm just going to start on our sausage. So into my little saucepan right here, I'm just pouring a little bit of some olive oil in there. And now that that oil is a little bit hot, I'm just going to be adding in our sausage and I'm going to let that warm through. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so while that sausage is cooking up and our pasta noodles are cooking as well, I'm just gonna show you guys something really, really quickly. So um, a couple weekends ago, I guess last weekend, I went to Ikea with my family and I have, before I had these, I had mason jars to put my sugar and my flour in, but it was super hard to get the um, measuring cups and the mason jars and I kind of hated it because I would always spill. But I saw these at Ikea and I thought, you know, a few of you guys might be interested, but they're these large containers that you put flour and sugar in, and then you just open it like that, and then that way you could put the measuring cups in and get the proper measurements, and then also it is less messy on your countertop. So I thought, you know, a few of you guys might be interested in those because I had been searching for something like this for quite a while, and honestly, these were probably at most $5 each, and that is just such a good deal for these type of containers because typically I see them on Amazon for like $20 each and I just think that's ridiculously expensive and then one other thing so I also wanted to show you this container I guess you could say this container is kind of for cereal or something but I think I got about two or three of them and I always have like some leftover pasta on hand just like this pasta that I was just using for that recipe so what I plan to do is I bought this let's see if I could do it one-handed Okay, so I bought this container and I'm hoping to put like random extra noodles in there. So like I have that, these noodles, and I put them in here and you know, on my nights where I'm just using whatever I have left on hand, I could just pull these containers out and use whatever I have because if, if you guys are like me, I have like bags of noodles in my pantry with like just about that much um, pasta left and it's just like gets confusing at times. So, you know, I thought this might help you guys, but let's get back on to making our meal. Now that my sausage is nice and warmed through and cooked up just like this, I kind of think it needs a little extra flavor and oops, I actually have some of these garlic cloves on hand. I guess you could say I'm cheating at this point, but... I just feel like this recipe needs more flavor and I feel like everybody kind of has has a few um, extra garlic cloves on hand so I'm just going to be adding these in. Of course if you don't have any garlic on hand that is totally fine. This recipe will still turn out great without the extra garlic. Now that that garlic is nice and fragrant, I'm gonna be adding in our bag of peas and carrots. Again, this is only a 14 ounce bag of peas and carrots, but I wanna add them in now because I think they're going to just enrich in flavor the sooner I add them into this dish. As you guys see, I just tossed in my pound of a marinara sauce, and now I just added a little bit, probably like a little over a fourth a cup of water to my can, and then I just, you know, added that water to our little mixture right here. The reason I did that is because there's always so much sauce left over at the bottom of the can, and then that's like sauce you could use for your recipe, and then also that makes your sauce go a long way. But I'm just going to stir this all together and bring it up to a simmer for about five minutes. Now I just poured in my drained um, elbow noodles to that big pot and now I'm just going to be adding in our marinara, sausage, and vix veggie mixture and I'm just going to stir this all together just so everything gets well combined. Now I have my 9x13 pan right here and I'm just going to dump this mixture into it. And if you guys thought I forgot the cheese, don't you worry, I did not forget about the cheese. I'm gonna pour it on top right now. This is um, two cups of cheese, of course. I know a lot of people don't 
like cheese, but we really like cheese in our home. So I'm just going to add this cheese in. I did want to mention if you are going to skip out on the cheese, you could add more vegetables to make this a little bit more nutritious. Um, I am going to be sticking this into my oven on 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. You pretty much just want the cheese to melt down and everything to get, you know, melted together. Another thing I wanted to mention is I don't know if you guys noticed, but how thick this, um, dish is and how much it covers this is a lot of servings right here this is a lot of food so if you have a big family this would be a great meal because this is only five dollars like if you were to go to fast food places five dollars will get you one meal but this is seriously giving us a huge 9 by 13 baking dish size but let's go bake this here is our baked spaghetti dish out of the oven. To be quite honest with you guys, I'm a little bit disappointed and I'm gonna tell you why. So, I have never bought Dollar Tree shredded cheese before, but apparently it doesn't melt very well. So this was in the oven for quite a while and I could not get it to melt. I also put it under my broiler and it really didn't melt nicely. Of course, it melted a little bit, but you know, I just didn't wanna keep it in the oven too long, just I didn't want to overbake it, but let's get it served up. Here is my plate all plated up. I just gave this a try and it was actually pretty good. Like I said before, the only disappointing part was the cheese not melting. So I guess I do not suggest buying Dollar Tree cheese unless you know you know that it's not gonna melt, but this is really a pretty tasty meal for the cost of it and like i said before this has so many different servings in it like it is crazy to me how much food um only five dollars could get you at dollar tree also the nutrients in it so we have some peas and then the protein which is the sausage and then the carbs and then the sauce this is a pretty well balanced meal for such a low cost i suggest this recipe and that is a wrap of today's $5 Dollar Tree grocery budget challenge. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And like I said before, I've actually done challenges like this from Walmart. So I will put those challenges down below in my description box if you want to see them. But anyways, I hope you guys have a good day today. And if you are new here, I'd love to have you over at my channel. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.